Good morning, you guys. I thought we could. <laughs> Someone is so excited <laughs> for breakfast, she can't even wait. But I thought I would film a little in-depth day in my life. I feel like I always do like day in the life, but I always fall off towards the end. So I wanted to do, uh-uh, you cannot jump like that. I wanted to do a day in the life. So I just made the bed and I'm going to feed the dogs. That's first thing. I have been giving them this nom nom. The chicken they're literally obsessed with it it's around eight o'clock i have a workout class at 9 20 but i always like to wake up and give myself enough time to like enjoy my morning have breakfast i've been big about eating before coffee so i'm gonna do that true i know you're so excited aren't you when you're waiting like a good girl come here, come here, come here. Okay, so I, after I feed them, I've been coming over to the supplement drawer and I've been taking two. I dropped my camera yesterday like pretty bad and now I feel like it won't focus. Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this is my favorite new drawer. I told you guys how I just organized this when I got back from Florida. Two of these on an empty stomach and then I also take my clear stem and then the rest of the stuff I take in the evening. And then I'm gonna make a little breakfast. I'm not ever really super hungry if I'm being quite honest. Like the first thing I always want in the morning is coffee, but I know that it's not really the best option for me. Um, it's just like not really good for your hormones if you struggle with hormone imbalance. I've been obsessed with doing like a yogurt parfait, so I just did berries, a little bit of yogurt, and then this granola I got from Ron Juicy. I'm almost out. I'm sad I should have bought in another container. And then I'm also gonna add some hemp seeds. Topped it with some honey, and I'm gonna go over here to my computer. I always check any type of email or anything before I leave for a workout if that's the case or if I have like an appointment that morning. It's like the first thing I always do when I get up. This has been hitting the spot because I think I finally realized that, not finally realized, I've kind of always known, but I'm such a sweet girl. Like I love candy, sweets, like over savory. I mean, honestly, I love both, but I think I prefer sweets. So having this in the morning kind of like gets rid of my sweet tooth for the day. I you used to have yogurt parfaits all the time and I just like completely forgot about them. I make my breakfast, I come over here to my computer and this is my video I was editing. I edit all my videos in Final Cut Pro if you guys are ever wondering. I feel like I get asked that a lot, but I'm gonna come over here, get on Slack, which is like what me and my management use to communicate daily. Um, and he always sends me over a list of like what is on the to-do list for today, um, like top priority and then kind of like what like tomorrow looks like and every day he'll kind of change it so today i'm kind of just waiting on that it's a little bit early he always sends it around like nine but i keep a calendar to myself like just like my um computer calendar it's nowhere near as like organized as it should be but i do know like what's coming up so like i know that a lululemon video is going live on thursday and today's tuesday so like it needs to be submitted by today like just like things like that like today i'm filming a vlog i know that um tomorrow i have a campaign for Instagram so I know that but then he kind of will just send like the briefs and like all the talking points and all that kind of stuff So that's what I check every morning. It's really nice this little thing on my Instagram where I like to like style outfits for you guys I just think it's fun and it's something I like to do. I like to like online shop anyway So I'm like might as well put together outfits So I was posting all those outfits this morning that I realized I needed to leave So I'm heading to body rock. I've been liking doing like a Pilates type of workout opposed to f45 lately i still have my f45 membership but i've really been liking going to body rock i want to try like other type of yoga pilates sculpt classes in the city i know that there's a core power but if you guys live in nashville um let me know if there's any like good ones that you recommend because sometimes i feel like body rock can get to be a little bit repetitive um and sometimes i want to like have like switch up movements and things like that so i'm heading to that the class is at 9 20 it's currently 9 10 and i'm gonna get there at 9 17 so um i'm gonna the traffic this morning in nashville is so bad and there was an accident on the interstate i feel like nashville's turning into a mini atlanta with the traffic and i'm like no 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 because i grew up in atlanta and the traffic i just remember it's just terrible over there well, I didn't grow up in Atlanta, but I grew up like 40 minutes from the city. So like if we ever wanted to go into the city for like sporting events or like just to be in the city, we would always have to drive in and out. And the traffic is just like always so bad in Atlanta.
we are home from my workout for some reason today. It was literally so hard after I was like, I'm sick of them doing the same moves. It was like a totally different class today, which I really enjoyed. It was a full body cardio, which meant we like got off of the machine a little bit more than normal, which I liked. So that was nice. And then I rewarded myself with some coffee. This coffee shop, if you guys are visiting Nashville, it's a cute little like hole in the wall coffee shop. It's called Osa or OC. I'm not exactly sure how you say it. Um, and it's right on Music Row, like right by Music Row. So it's a cute little area to walk around. Um, and now I'm home. I was on the phone with my mom for a long time because they're having to evacuate. There's, they're predicting it's gonna be like a category. It started as three. Now they're like thinking it's gonna be a four. So my parents are evacuating. By the time this video goes up, I think that the storm, hopefully fingers crossed, will have been through. I'm hoping it doesn't hit them as much as everyone's thinking, but my parents are just evacuating to be safe. It makes me sad. That's like the one downfall about Florida is the weather sometimes. And um, I don't know if you guys would know this, but when my parents moved to Port St. Joe, right before or right after they bought their piece of land, because my parents built, so they had just bought like a lot and then built a house on it. Um, there was a terrible like category five Hurricane Michael and it cleared like the whole entire town, like restaurants, homes, the marina, everything got taken and it was so sad to see. Um, and they just finally started building it back up and like everything is starting to like come together again. Like the town finally is looking nice again. The marina was rebuilt. So I'm just hoping that this doesn't ruin things because it's just so sad. People are like still just like now trying to get their homes like all put back together and stuff. It's like crazy what a storm can really do. My parents had to bring in all like the patio furniture, they tied everything down and I'm just praying that it doesn't hit them as hard as everyone's thinking. So it's supposed to like, it's starting to roll in. My parents are leaving town like literally right now as we speak, it's supposed to roll in tonight and then tomorrow. So that kind of has me a little bit anxious. So I'm hoping that that, I don't know, it's just scary. You just have to like sit and wait and then you obviously leave so you don't know what's going on at the house. But I have to film some content so I'm just doing some light makeup and getting ready for the day. I have been liking to like get a little bit ready for the day. Today I'm like doing makeup which I normally really never do but I wanted to put a little bit on. So just everyday makeup, this Chanel bronzer I really love the like warmth color of it. I'm gonna do my makeup quick and then we will get on with the work day. I made the bed this morning, but I just got the room all picked up. I just got dressed for the day and you guys know how that goes whenever you get dressed to get ready. I feel like the room always gets messy, but I wanted to remind you guys after I looked at the bed, I was like, wait, I need to tell them. Brooklinen is having their Labor Day sale and I got new sheets. I think I shared them in the last vlog. I ordered these when I was at the beach and I came home to the package. I am obsessed with Brooklinen sheets, you guys. I talk about them all the time and they're having a 20% off Labor Day sale through September 6th. So I will put the link in the description, but these are the linen sheets. They're our favorite. We also have the Luxe Satin. We've really tried them all and we also love all of their towels. I got this striped fabric in the sheets and then I got the white duvet. So it kind of just keeps the room still neutral, but it gives it a fun print. And I've never been more obsessed with my bedding. Even Dylan was like, wait, this is so, this looks so good. Just so comfy. I wish you guys could feel them through the screen. We're obsessed. Brooklinen is a luxury sheets company made to elevate your home. So if you guys are not on the Brooklinen train, now is the perfect time. We have two sets of the linen set because I switched them out. Um, and then we also have the Lux satin and we really love both. I would say that linen is probably our favorite. We are just obsessed with it year round. We are hot sleepers, so we like it to be a little bit cooler and the linen keeps us like feeling great all night. Um, between me and Dylan, Dylan is a hot sleeper. He really loves these linen sheets. I remember in Raleigh, we didn't have Brooklinen yet and we tried several sheets and we could just like not agree on one. And then we finally switched over to Brooklinen and we've both never complained about the temperature or anything like that. I feel like it's so important to invest in good home stuff. For example, your sheets, your bath towels, things like that, because with every wash, I swear they get better. Like these are brand new. I washed them once so far and I feel like every time I wash them, they get even better and better. They just get more lived in, more soft, comfy. Um, and I feel like 
with a lot of other brands that tends to be the opposite. If you buy cheaper things, it's not gonna last you. You're just gonna have to keep buying the item over and over again. Why not just invest in your sheets and just like not have to worry about them for a long time? So Dylan and I do the bundle set. We have the pillowcases, the fitted sheet, the top sheet, the duvet. And then we also use Brooklyn and insert in our duvet, Brooklyn and pillows and all that. So we are just big Brooklyn and fans over here. They have different sheet options for everyone. So if you're not a fan of the linen, um, they also have the Luxe Satin, like I said, they have the Classic, um, which are cooling and crisp, which we also have and really love. But whatever sheet weave you end up going with, I'd recommend getting the Hardcore Bundle. It comes with everything you need to refresh your bedding. So like I said, the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, the duvet cover, and four pillowcases, and it saves you 25%, which is really, really nice. You can mix and match your sheets. So you can do like the striped pillowcases or maybe like a colored pillowcase and then the white sheets you can mix and match the patterns and stuff, which I like. You don't have to do all white or you don't have to do like all stripe. You can mix it up. So like I said, Brooklinen is having their Labor Day sale right now, which is 20% off the whole entire website through September 6th. For the Labor Day sale, the 20% off, you guys can just click the link in the description and it will automatically apply at checkout. But if you guys are watching this video after September 6th, you guys can still get a discount by using my code. I'll put it here on the screen. It gets you $20 off of $100 or more. So if you spend over $100, you can use this code, get $20 off. But if you guys are shopping before September 6th, just click the link in the description. But I want to thank Brooklinen for working with me in today's video. I cannot rave about the sheets enough. Like I use my own money and spend my own money on these items because I just think that they're so good. I ordered these sheets, like I said, about two weeks ago and I wish I would have waited to do the Labor Day sale for 20% off. So check them out. Rue also loves them. She's always up here. I always find her up here laying on the bed. This is the linen set, like I've said. Let me pull this back so I can show you guys the sheets. I have a white pillowcase under here and then I have the stripe just for like a layered look. I really love how this whole situation looks with our new bedroom furniture and stuff. And then I have the top sheet is striped and the fitted sheet is striped. So check them out. Again, I will put the link in the description and happy shopping, stock up. It's about to be fall, cozy season. And you guys need these sheets, they're so good. Here's my little fit of the day. I got this set in from Daily Drills. I'm just gonna be like bopping around at home today, but I also might run to the mall because I need to get a dress for a wedding I'm going to this weekend. Um, but I still want it to be like comfy. So I'm wearing this new set from Daily Drills. I love the gals over at Daily Drills. They're the sweetest and they just came out with this collection. It's like the hometown collection. I believe that it sold out so fast, but um, how cute. These are like a built-in boxer. It's kind of like a look that's been going around that's in style. And then I turned this little cut off sweatshirt inside out for like added texture. And I really like a cut off sweatshirt lately. I don't know what it is. I have one that I just bought in pink that I really love. And it's nice because if you're in the South and you're trying to dress like fallish, the cutoff sweatshirt is nice because you're not gonna be like dripping sweat. So let me show you guys this way. Just a cute little fit. This would be a really good travel outfit, college outfit. So hopefully they restock these, but I wanted to share in case you don't know about Daily Drills yet, their stuff is really, really nice and really good quality. I'm gonna go downstairs, make some lunch, and then I think we're gonna head to the mall before it gets too late. I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight, so. We have a few things we need to do. I had a BLT when I came home. I didn't film it because I was so hungry, but I'm gonna make a little snack before I head out because I don't wanna be hungry when I'm out. So I'm gonna do, this is kind of a, I guess I'm just leaving out the chili onion crunch because I don't have any, but I saw um, Rachel from The Bachelor like years ago. I don't even know what her last name is. She posted this on TikTok like probably almost a year ago. And I just recently remembered about it and am obsessed with that. I've been having it all the time. Um, so it's just cucumber, mini bell peppers, and then this ginger dressing. And then you're supposed to do the chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's, but I don't have any, but it's still really good without it. Everything but the bagel. And then I just put some hemp parts on there just for some added protein. You can't even taste them and they're really kind of give a good texture. So I'll show you guys what I do. I literally just cut it up and put it all in a bowl and it is the yummiest, like fresh, crunchy snack. Here's the salad, it's so easy. You could also have this prepped in the fridge and then just pour the dressing 
over top of the end if you like didn't have time to cut up everything but it's so quick and it's like very very satisfying which i love i've been working on finishing up a video editing that i'm gonna submit that here and then have my snack and then we're probably gonna go head to the mall i just got these boots in this morning from dulce beat and i kept them out because i wanted to remind myself to tell you guys about them i got them in black and brown like a tan the perfect boot for fall i sized up to an eight i always size up in boots because i feel like if the toe comes to any type of point, I don't want it to be squeezing my feet. The quality in the sole and everything of these is so nice and they're a pretty good affordable price for like a nice quality boots. So I'll link them for you guys. Um, I love Dulce Vita shoes. I actually am going to a dinner with them next week. So they sent over some picks for me to style and they got the black and the brown. So I'm very excited to have these for fall. I know that they're gonna be like closet staple also another package that just came to the door i wanted to share with you guys l space one of my favorite swim brands they also have really good clothing items sent over let's see what this is um perfect transitional pieces to wear for fall oh my god it's so cute it's like a linen but it's creamy and then the buttons i feel like make it fall this is great for the south for fall because you guys know how it is still hot here okay we also have very wrinkly right now little button up blazer also linen matches the vest and then i've been wanting a little vest set like this so i hope that this fits they sent a medium in the pants which thank god i'm so excited i feel like sometimes i always get small and they don't fit stunning little pair of pants i've been collecting stuff and shopping for fall and all that and i'm going to be filming a fall haul i'm just waiting on like two orders from Reformation and Free People to come in and then I'm gonna do like a big collective fall haul, have all the links, everything for you guys and I thought I could do it kind of like a little styling session so I'm very excited for that video. Be back Winnie, okay? Be a good girl. You be a good girl. <laughs> the dogs recently got their haircuts and I think that Winnie has never looked cuter. Why are you the cutest? Winnie, I'll give you one secret treat. I just put Rue up in her crate because I still don't trust her when I leave the house for a long time, but Winnie sits down here. Good girl, Winnie. You hold the fort down while I'm gone, okay? <laughs> go home from all my errands and I came home to this package I know I've been showing you guys a lot of stuff today but one of you guys reached out and told me that you and your husband made these cutting boards and I was like oh my god those are awesome and you guys wanted to send me some and I just opened the box and it is the cutest thing ever you sent toys for the dogs which is so sweet and then these hand towels which are so my style I love these so much cute little card I'm hoping that they put the name of the cutting boards you guys Okay, perfect. Okay, so the smaller board is six by nine if you guys want to order. They engraved their little business right here. Literally the cutest thing. And this is the smaller board, maple, walnut, and cherry wood. And then the bigger board is maple and walnut, and it's a 12 by 15. Um, already oiled and waxed by us. It's important to wax them every so often to make them last longer. The business is your dot home dot handmade so i'll put it here on the screen if you guys are looking for good cutting boards i mean these are insane quality i have a cutting board from williams sonoma that i bought for like it was like 250 dollars, and this feels just as nice i don't know what their pricing runs on these because like i said they sent them to me but how freaking cute thank you for letting us send you some cutting boards i appreciate how you always answer my dms you're such a great person and it shows through your content hope you don't love the boards and put them to good use we also threw in a little something extra for winnie and rue please let us know what you think of them let us know if you're interested in any more boards or some bigger furniture oh so i guess that they make a bunch of stuff too Allie and kyle this is the sweetest thing and the most thoughtful like i could literally cry you guys are the sweetest check them out small business and i mean the boards are stunning i went out to the mall to try to find a dress for the wedding it was like a complete bust so i'm gonna go through my closet and figure out something to wear i ordered something to come for the actual wedding because it's black tie so i ordered a long gown 
I don't realize how much I buy like white clothing until I have to be a guest at a wedding and I cannot wear any of my clothes because everything I buy I swear is white. It's like actually insane. Friday they're doing a like cocktail gathering like everyone arriving into town on Friday so I wanted to find like a cute little short cocktail dress and I just like couldn't find something so I feel like I'm going to dig through my closet and figure it out um, but of course it led me to looking at all the fall home decor and I also went to free people. I didn't buy anything. I was just kind of browsing around. I want to do like a little kickoff to fall vlog, but I feel like it's still too early, but I kind of just browsed around and looked at some of the home decor. Like I went to Pottery Barn, I went to Crate and Barrel. Um, I went to Williams Sonoma and looked at the fall decor and there's a bunch of good stuff out. I didn't really buy much because I wanted to save it for like a fall vlog, but I did buy some candles when I ran into Target. I had to get Dylan some like toothpaste and stuff and I smelled this candle. It's called Honey Crisp Apple Cider. And it smells like one of those melted, you know, those lollipops that have the caramel on the outside that are so bad for you. Um, <laughs> this, this is what it smells like. It's a crackling wooden wick candle. So it's a wick, so it makes noise, which I also love. And I love the jar. I feel like it's like cute. So I got two of those. They were only 10, 13 bucks. And then I also picked up, this isn't fall related, but I got a little salt and pepper holder because I went to Williams Sonoma and I picked up some more... I got some dishcloths and then I got I got some Malden salt because I ran out. I'm gonna put this in here. And then I also picked up, I saw these only in Sonoma and I was like, wait, this is smart because I have the um, little glass jars from Crate and Barrel that hold my berries, but these are nice because you can remove the inner basket. They're stackable and then there's a lid for them. If I can figure out. So then I feel like the berries will stay fresh. I've been really on my berry kick and so i wanted to get these i got two of them they're by the brand chefin and then i can put like blackberries raspberries and one and i picked up some more berries from the store i'm gonna do like a um asian style dinner tonight i had to get a few things from the store so i got some more berries so i'm gonna rinse these out and put them in here and then it's around four o'clock i need to check my email and respond to something because i saw one come through that i need to respond to and then kind of just chill a little bit i really just want to sit on the couch and watch some tv if i'm being honest i feel like i've been go 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 today um and just like relax for a little bit dylan said he should be home from work a little bit earlier than last night but last night was 10 45 so it was monday and monday is their longest day but still i'm like the season just started i'm already like wait i forgot how long and crazy the hours are i'm like going nuts and it's only the first week <laughs>
What? I'm in the mood to, hey Ru, it is not dinner time yet, so you're gonna have to go. Bye bye, <laughs> please. <laughs> please leave me alone, and why? I give you ice cubes and you don't take it, and then look at what it does to the floor. <laughs> Our espresso machine has been saying that it needs to be descaled, so I am doing that now and I'm gonna clean the whole thing. I feel like it just gets so messy. And this just came in from Amazon, the descaler and cleaner. They also have tablets, but I like to use the solution. So I'm gonna do that quick. Empty water tank and remove filter. Dissolve one descaler sachet or half of this thing into one liter of warm water. I just washed everything, all the parts, and then I just wiped that whole thing down. I'm gonna refill this with water and then refill all of the coffee beans. I wanna show you guys my favorite coffee beans that I use. I think I've talked about them before. I got literally the biggest bag of cowboy coffee beans. I am obsessed with this coffee, so is Dylan. There are very few coffee beans or espresso beans that we agree on. I really like a like milky, um, chocolatey flavor and he likes really, really strong and we both are obsessed with these. So I'm gonna refill our machine with these. You can get them online, but I had them when we were in Montana with Lily and Andy and they are just so, so good. machine is all clean i would recommend this machine to anyone dylan and i love it we've had it for over a year now we obviously still love to go out and get coffee and whatever because it's just kind of like a social thing um sometimes you get out of the house and stuff but this is such a good reliable machine we love it we've never really had any issues <laughs> i'll link this exact machine it's pricey but would be a great gift or a splurge item for you and your family your husband like whatever it's such a good machine and i feel like it produces like really good quality espresso 7-eleven i have wrapped up everything i need to do for the day so i'm gonna make dinner i have everything out i'm just making a very simple dinner but still like healthy and yummy so i'm browning some ground beef i have coleslaw mix green onion garlic ginger some sauce I'm gonna make, it's called like egg roll in a bowl. I saw it on TikTok a few weeks ago and I've already made it once and it's very, very good. I might add some of this edamame to it as well. Rue, you've already ate dinner. You have to leave. <laughs> Using my new cutting board, I'm very excited about it. The sauce is just coconut aminos, sweet chili sauce, and some rice vinegar. You kind of just eyeball it and it's very easy, but I always brown the meat first and then I add everything else in towards the end. All right, dinner is done. It was so easy and it took me maybe 15 minutes. I put some white minute rice under there and then I topped with more green onion and cilantro and then I'm gonna do a lime wedge over it, but I'm gonna enjoy this, sit here and eat, and then I'm gonna go take a shower, take my makeup off, all that stuff. It's 8, 10, I'm about to take a shower. I wanna light this candle. I love to light a candle and get like the room smelling good and fresh for bed because I always like kind of hang out in bed for a little bit before I go to bed, whether that's like reading on my phone, watching TV, whatever. I'm almost done with this book and I really, really love it. Before I get all clean and stuff, I want to have the room smelling good. This candle I got from White Spark and Tell, it's just like a nice fresh scent. Brand of this is Linnea and it's the Belgian linen scent. I always just keep a lighter in my side table. I also have this little sheet spray. It smells like the one hotel and I'll just like mist the bed with a few sprays and then i get the bed all ready i put these throw pillows on the floor and rue like lays on them like she's a human it's so funny the sheets all ready dylan is still not home from work but i'm gonna wait up for him just because i haven't seen him all day but i'm probably gonna lay in bed read a little bit of my book i need to like i said take a shower get my water and stuff and just have like a cozy night in bed All showered and clean, I put on a cozy new clean pair of pajamas. Um, this is by the brand Everjay. I have them in yellow, which I think I was wearing this morning. 
green and this white ribbed color and I'm obsessed with them. I wear size medium. I can link them for you guys. They're just like so, so cozy. I did my skincare. I did my skincare. Rue's up here. I need to go get Winnie. I need to fill my water and then lay in bed. I'm gonna wait on Dylan to get home, but I feel like I can't wait up anymore downstairs. I have like the house all locked up ready for the night downstairs so i'm gonna come chill up here but i'm gonna go make a water i just wanted to end off the video thank you guys if you made it to the end again don't forget to check out brooklinen's labor day sale it is through september 6th so i will have the link in the description for you guys to check it out do not miss the sale get these sheets you will not regret <laughs> right rue they're the best right <laughs> i love you all and i will see you in my next video bye guys You know it's kind of funny How a room full of things Feels completely empty When you're not in the